Well, spring is finally here and it's supposed to be a beautiful week, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to head down to Oregon and see all the things that Oregon has to offer. I think my first stop is going to be in Mount Hood area, where hopefully I can park my van down by the river and live there for the rest of my life, or just do some hiking for a day or two. But after that, I think I'll head down to Bend and do some hiking and biking and breweries and all the other things they like doing in Bend. I mean, hopefully beer is in my future. So yeah, it's uh, it's beautiful right now. It's supposed to be about a two and a half hour drive to Mount Hood. Um, so yeah, let's get going with it. All right, let's see, pulled up to a nice little spot here. There seems to be some kind of uh, cool rock formation they made here. A couple of fire pits. I think this will be all right for the night. Labyrinth later. sausage. Tried to make it as appetizing as uh, I could. I mean, it's a sausage. What else do you want? Tastes like one. Mm. It is a frosty morning. So yesterday when I was driving up here, um, the drawer for my induction cooktop is kept on coming out and slamming around. I think uh, just not holding like it used to. So I'm looking for a piece of wood that I can screw in and kind of make as like a lever to hold that in. I'm sure I could find something around here. All right, that was a quick fix. Hopefully that'll fix it. Single stop. Coming out while I'm driving. Summit doesn't even look that far away from here. It's like what? One, two miles tops? Just hope I have enough water. Looks like I need to bring more water next time. like there's some kind of hut over here. Hopefully it has gallons and gallons of water. Well, it looks like this cabin is gonna be the farthest I'm gonna make it up this mountain today. It's 
be a two day trip anyways, at the very least. But I didn't really think I was gonna get to the summit. Only, oh no, 6,000 more feet to go. Hear that cracking over there. Avalanche season. Hello! Well, that was a nice little hike up Mount Hood. Unfortunately, I couldn't get to the top. I didn't bring enough water or have snowshoes or an ice axe or any of the things that I actually needed. But I uh, made it back, got incredibly burnt. I'm not sure if that's showing up, but I pretty much have a red uh, line just around where my sunglasses were. Um, but I think that dinner will make up for all the agony that I'm in. I'm going to make this corned beef hash with uh, potatoes and onions in the slow cooker. So hopefully that turns out well. <laughs> oh my god, my arms are so burnt. Uh, add an inch of water in here. I think the most interesting part of this though is going to be trying to get this disgusting bag full of contents in here uh, and not spilling it all over the van. But, you know, just makes it more compelling, I guess. There's a huge debacle and mess I have to clean up. Woo. Just slides right in. I think it'd be more compelling if I stab the with my finger. It'll have to be censored, though, because of YouTube. Wouldn't want swearing. Five potatoes. That should be good enough for one man. Hey, the cutting board works. Mm, this might be a lot of potatoes, but I never said I'm not a potato boy. Just this riveting footage of going through garbage. All right, got everything all cut up here. It's not like it was all that much to be cut up in the first place though. For a first go, the cutting board did its job pretty well. It remained wood, remained, it remained hard for the entirety of uh, the cutting process. Good job, cutting board. And the final result. How am I looking here? Mm, face is still quite red. I woke up this morning, got myself a gun, naturally. Got myself some coffee first. And then I went to these falls that were right next to Mount Hood, the Tuananui Falls, Tuananui Falls of some sort. And they were really cool. Uh, took some pictures. It was like quick little short, uh, maybe four miles there and back. Um, really nice though it's a good way to cap off my time in Mount Hood and I started driving down to Bend uh, that took a little while I had to stop every now and again but uh, yeah got this free little campsite here probably gonna have a fire tonight uh, just walking around got a little bit of internet so that's always a good thing but I think I'm gonna go on a bike ride tomorrow and live it up in Bend. Morning, I'm at the outskirts of Bend at a park and I'm ready to get the day going. Had my coffee, had some oatmeal and I'm ready to go on a bike ride. It's uh, about a 35 mile loop that goes all the way around the back country around here. The Twin Bridges bike ride. So hopefully I'll see at least two bridges. I don't know for sure though. So I'm on this two bridges bike route. It's pretty nice, it's going through a lot of these back roads here in Bend, going through farm country, um, rural area. It's a nice easy ride for the most part, but I am yet to see one bridge so far. Not one. Not even a Phoebe bridge. Dope. They have a uh, cycle station with all the tools you need to fix up your bike in case you get a flatter 
low tire pressure or whatever 